taking only a disposable camera to capture his journey. When he put his phone in the glove compartment, he thought of his wife's disapproval. If she knew this, she'd kill him. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. Gary went into the desert. He had about two hours until sunset, so he had to find a place to set up his tent. Around him were signs that read, Do not enter the desert alone, and Watch out for the heat. Gary just ignored the signs. After a few kilometers, the signs stopped and he was completely alone in the middle of nowhere. He saw a large rock that was perfect for him to set up his tent, bringing along a throwaway camera to document his travels. He felt his wife would not approve when he put his phone in the glove compartment. She would murder him if she knew this. Gary entered the desert. He needed to locate a spot to pitch up his tent because he only had two hours till dusk. There were warnings all around him warning him to watch out for the heat and do not enter the desert alone. Gary chose to ignore the warnings. The signs ended after a few kilometers, leaving him all by himself in the middle of nowhere. He came across a big rock where he could easily erect his tent. The wind couldn't carry his tent away since it wasn't outside. It was getting close to dusk now, so Gary put up his tent and built a little fire. Suddenly, he became aware of something. Peering at the little cleft of stone in front of him, he thought the rock looked lovely. It was becoming dark, and he needed to snap a fast photo of it. He reached inside his backpack for a rope and discovered a stick. With his camera strapped to it, he snapped a photo. It was getting dark soon after, so Gary made the early decision to retire to bed. All his strength was required for tomorrow. He slept out like a newborn, taking in the nighttime sounds of the forest. He had a restful night's sleep, but in the middle of the night, he was startled up by an unpleasant sound. When he awoke, he heard distant sounds. The sound of the odd shrieking was almost human-like. The volume increased steadily. His survival adventure suddenly became less enjoyable. He thought about stepping outside to have a look, but ultimately chose to remain in his sleeping bag and wait for the sound to go away. That's when the sound came back, closer this time. He paid close attention and saw that it was a human voice. Grabbing his knife, he continued to slip beneath his sleeping bag. He heard a motorbike in the distance all of a sudden. The noise of an automobile engine roaring was drawing nearer. He chose to examine it cautiously. Gradually, Gary unzipped his tent and peered about. Seeing only darkness, he made the decision to stay perched atop a rock and keep scanning the area. With haste, Gary reached for his torch and scaled the rock. Since it was completely dark, he moved cautiously, step by step. To view over the top to the other side, he needed to climb a short distance. As soon as he gazed over the rock at the crest, he tensed. He noticed that two headlights were rapidly approaching him. He flicked off his flashlight swiftly. Suddenly, a shiver of horror swept through his body. Were they able to spot him? And in a no man's land, who could that be? Beneath a boulder that stood directly over the summit of the mountain, Gary took refuge. He glanced around and noticed an approaching automobile. The automobile came to a stop around 200 meters before the rock. Gradually, the light outside grew brighter and two guys emerged with flashlights. They proceeded to the rear of the vehicle and unlocked it. Taking out a massive bundle, one of them placed it on the ground. It appeared to be a box. They set the box down and moved in the direction of the rock. About 100 meters in front of Gary, they came to a stop. Gary then saw that one of the men had a pistol in his hand. They abruptly swiveled their lights in Gary's direction. One of the males gave a loud cry. Hey, show yourself! A scared Gary fled swiftly behind the jutting rock, praying they wouldn't discover him. He was waiting for what was going to happen, and every minute began to feel like an hour. His spouse was correct. Why had he left his phone at home and ventured into the desert? He was eager to give her another embrace and affirm that she was correct. Gary started to get anxious slowly. Hey, where are you? The men yelled even louder as they repeated themselves. Gary came to the realization that they would eventually locate his tent. As he started to descend, he became aware of a third voice. The voice was coming from above, not from below, where he stood behind the mountain. Declaring that he had heard the men, the third speaker yelled back, Yes, sir, they said in response, got into the car and headed out. Gary ascended from behind the rock once more and took a quick look over the edge. 
The vehicle has vanished. He surveyed his surroundings. He hurried off the mountain and made his way back to his tent, because it appeared that everything was okay. He gathered his belongings and fled. Gary needed some time to figure out how to go back, but he was headed in the proper way by his reliable compass. He drove home after locating his vehicle. He went directly to his wife as soon as he got to his residence. Gary gave her a hug and said he would never go on a survival expedition by himself again. Gary was still reflecting on what had transpired in the desert a few days later. He was unable to ignore it. His wife unexpectedly returned home with the developed pictures from his throwaway camera. An excited Gary started going through them right away. However, he froze and said, Honey, call the police now, as soon as he seen the photo in front of the rock. Gary snapped a picture of himself beside the rock. A little light emanating from a cave that appeared to be a hiding place was visible. Two days after giving the authorities the picture, he was hailed as a hero. Thanks to the hints in Gary's photo, the police were able to apprehend K.H. Mattis, the wanted drug kingpin who had escaped from jail two months prior. And to top it all off, Gary's tip earned him $1,000. He was even praised in the news as an unnamed hero who apprehended a drug boss. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.